Welcome everyone, my name is Dave, I'm a full stack developer and this is my approach to a JavaScript bootcamp assignment using Node.js, Express servers to handle routing while using get and post methods and the packages included will be body parser, express, and path. The logic of the app is comparing differences between a sum total of numbers entered by the user and the array of numbers for each possible friend. Once the closest match is determined, we will display it in a pop-up module. This is a friend finder app. Let's begin. As you can see, I have my file structure set up to meet the requirements of this project. I have an empty server.js file ready to create our required packages, server, and routes. But first, we have to install our NPM. So let's do that. We are using Express and Body Parser, and we will be using Path, which is installed. Our packages are being installed. Okay, as you can see here, um, we have our node modules installed. Let's get started with the server. First, I'm going to copy and paste my packages and my port. Copy, paste. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to test it. And it looks like our server is working. All right, very good. Now let's go ahead and add the body parser structure that we're going to need and the required paths to future files that we're going to be making. So we will set up our body parser here. Which returns JSON and string text. Also sets the type. Apply our routes now. Our API routes and our HTML routes, which we'll be building here shortly. Okay, let's save this. And our server is ready and raring to go. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next file. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my JSON array that is going to act as my database in this project. We're going to put it here in the data folder. Okay, there's our friend, friends JS right there. Let's open it up and make our array of objects. What we've done here is created an array of objects, our first object, variable called friends. We have a name, photo, and scores. The scores is an array of, of 10 numbers that will be summed and compared to the sum of the score that the user puts into the form. So I'm going to make about six of these. Okay, I went ahead and finished uh, the rest of the objects in our friends 
array. And uh, one thing we have to remember is to export the module. Okay, so our JSON database is ready. Let's save that. All right, now we're going to get into our public folder. I've already uh, set up the HTML pages for the home and the survey. I already put in all of the things that we need for it. I wanted to concentrate more on the JavaScript, but in the HTML we have a Jumbotron here that is holding uh, several uh, divs. And let me give you a quick show. This is what the page looks like. And then our survey page is a question form. We have a Jumbotron in here as well. And we use a series of select tags here that are identified with an ID and a class, which will be used in the JavaScript a little bit later. But we have 10 questions with five selections each. And with the submit button, and we will be building out some JavaScript later in this as well. So now that we have our HTML pages, our friends JSON, and our server, we're going to get into our routing pages now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of files here. Let's go ahead and start with the HTML route. Okay, this file is ready. What we've done here is created our routing paths that we will apply to our buttons here with this. And we use the use here to make this the default on entry. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build out our API routes. So let's begin. First, we will connect our JSON file here. This connects our array of objects. Modal export to house everything. This is our API get request. Gets our friends data from the friends JSON. Next, we will make our API post requests. Next, we will take the results of the user survey post and parse it, converting the user score into a number instead of a string. We will go ahead and console.log out the results here.
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and create a for loop uh, that will loop through all the friends possibilities in the database. Now we will create the if statement that will sum the differences and determine the best match for the best friend. And finally, we save the user's data to the database and return a JSON with the user's best match. And this file is complete. Next, I want to go back to our survey HTML and add some JavaScript here at the base of this file. I'm going to create the form inputs to be captured and validated and then create an object for the user data. And then it'll uh, grab the URL of the website and use an Ajax post to the friend's API. Go ahead and grab the URL for the website. Okay, our JavaScript's looking good. Uh, one other thing I did forget to do is add a modal where our results will live at the bottom of our survey HTML.
Okay, and our modal is now complete. Let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a test and uh, we'll troubleshoot if there are any errors. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Okay, all of these are filled in. Let's go ahead and see if it works. And it does. It gives us Spike Lively. You can find the link to these files in the description down below. Please subscribe. Thank you.